In today's tech-driven world, the quality of electricity that powers our devices can make a significant difference. Let's dive into what clean and dirty power are and why it matters. Hello, my name is Brian Sample with Automation Nation, and today we'll be talking about what is dirty power, what is clean power, and why does it matter? Dirty power is characterized by a distorted sine wave with high total harmonic distortion, also known as THD, often exceeding 10% or more. It fluctuates in voltage and frequency, leading to voltage spikes, sags, and significant electrical noise. Common types of dirty power are transient spikes, voltage sacks, and harmonic distortion. These issues radiate out of the wiring and into your facility, causing various issues. The irregular waveform of dirty power can cause electronic devices to malfunction, operate inefficiently, and sustain damage. Devices may experience overheating, shorten lifespan, and increase susceptibility to electrical surges. Clean power, in contrast, maintains a pure sine wave with low THD, typically less than 5%. It provides stable voltage and frequency, minimizing electrical noise and interference. Clean power adheres closely to standard voltage levels and operates at a consistent frequency of 50 to 60 Hz, depending on the region. This stability is critical for sensitive electronic devices requiring reliable power delivery. Opting for clean power ensures smooth operation and longevity for the devices you are powering. By ensuring you are using clean power, you increase the lifespan of your machines and make them run more efficiently, saving you both time and money. While there is no one-fit solution, dirty power can be converted to clean power using devices such as power conditioners, voltage regulators, uninterruptible power supplies, and harmonic filtering depending on the root cause. These devices are able to lower the total harmonic distortion, mitigate voltage sags, transient spikes, and create a stable voltage, leaving you with clean power. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to Automation Nation. Drop any questions you may have in the comments below, and I'll try my best to answer them. See you next time.